hello everyone welcome to jenkins tutorial so today's uh, topic is jenkins pipeline so uh, let's come uh, let's understand what a pipeline is a pipeline is uh, nothing but it it just divides the whole build or the whole job in few phases and we can see that in jenkins in graphical uh, view like all the stages we can see uh, it, it will divide the whole build process into few stages and we can see the sta particular stages and the build progress uh, how it's going on where it has failed and we can track it easily where the build has uh, where failed or where um, up to up to which part it, it has uh, successfully completed and which part is running currently so coming to the definition it is of uh, it is a series of steps which orchestrates the work required to build test deploy applications in few phases uh, so now these all the phases and everything code and etc everything is defined in a, a Jenkins file this is the name of the file in, in which we define our whole uh, uh, orchestration of the steps uh, now requirements of this are uh, Jenkins 2.0 and above so we should have uh, Jenkins 2.0 version installed or the any other version above it maven git uh, as i am taking example of maven uh, example using maven and git as repository so i would recommend you to install it first and configure it in your global tools uh, configuration if you have not done this uh, just go to some of my previous jenkins tutorial and you can uh, follow those tutorial first you know, to understand and how to uh, to understand how to configure all those things then you need to download my code which i have committed in this uh, repository you, you can make a clone and you can uh, commit it in your own repository if you want uh, so now let's go uh, through some of the history of pipeline so pipeline a few a few years back it was just a plugin it uh, it was just a plugin available in Jenkins which used to show the build flow uh, like uh, we had different suppose we have five six jobs upstream and downstream all com combination of different jobs so one after one it is running depending on the success or failure so uh, if you earlier use this pipeline plugin it used to show the full flow from the start of the build to the um, from the start to the end so now they have developed uh, new features on the top of pipeline and it has just come as a separate option in Jenkins uh, which will uh, come to know within few minutes so let's go to our Jenkins so uh, for, for creating a pipeline job uh, first you uh, have to launch uh, Jenkins log into it and then just move to new item section so here we can see pipeline options available here this is the one so you need to give some name so let's give it uh, tutorial Day one so I have given the name uh, of the um, of my job or project and you have to select this pipeline and just click OK so here you uh, so the pipeline job is created let's first give the description so I given the description uh, let's not uh, go for other options as it will complicate our pipeline just for uh, let, let's for learning or for our tutorial purpose let's go through some easy examples which is easy to understand now here we can see two options pipeline script pipeline from SCM so if, if you select this pipeline script instead of uh, writing a Jenkins file you can uh, write all the code here and Jenkins will uh, take care of those stuffs and we can run the pipeline from here but for our case uh, let's take it uh, we'll uh, move all our code to a, Jenkins, a file named Jenkins file and inside that will commit all the code and push it to the repository for making it to work as a pipeline as a code or infrastructure as a code so those things we are trying to implement now here you have to select the SCM uh, repository you are having so for me I have my git already here let me give my git URL yeah 
you need to add the credentials here if you are adding your own repository just add it provide uh, uh, the um, uh, credentials and all for me I have already added and then you uh, by default uh, this uh, branches is master for git so it's okay for me as I do not have any other branch so no need to add anything and here is the script path so uh, if, if 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 you go move here uh, I you can see like in, in my clone repository uh, directly at the root I have this Jenkins file if you have this inside some other folder or some other location you need to specify the uh, path here but better I'll suggest like if for the first time or of doing for the for your ease make it uh, sure that you have your Jenkins file in the root so that there is no need to change here the path and all for giving the related path check uh, by default this uh, checkbox is checked that is lightweight checkout this is actually for um, just uh, uh, whatever is defined in the Jenkins file you know, Jenkins will try to check out first of all this file ignoring every other thing from the repository and then it uh, it will do the other stops so lightweight checkout means it will only check out a particular file you can see if selected try to obtain the pipeline script con uh, pipeline script means our Jenkins script file uh, contents directly from SCM without performing a full checkout so let's save it so we can see our now our pipeline uh, job is created let's move to the contents of the Jenkins file which I have created so in the in the Jenkins file uh, we can see a few line of code uh, let's go through these lines and what does they actually mean pipeline is just a declaration that we are using the pipeline feature and then uh, here is the agent agent is the Jenkins uh, uh, slave or agent name you have to you have to give so uh, I have given windows as the label uh, means uh, uh, if, uh, whatever uh, Jenkins no node or agents are configured under the windows uh, uh, label uh, those all will be activated while running this you can define the agent any anywhere even you can define for different stages if you want to use different labels you can do that you just need to go inside stages and in the stage you need to define the node so but uh, for our case I'll just consider simply for our simplicity I'll just consider only one agent so I have defined it here so that it will be common for all stages now for uh, tools tools is the section where uh, we can define like what what are the global tools uh, our uh, job will be using so let's go to, uh, so the, uh, we can see maven and jdk mentioned by me then now you were thinking how come this is maven 3.1.1 or uh, java 8 how does it know like i need to install all those things so this uh, this is like uh, maven or jdk is the keyword here but maven 3.1.1 and java 8 these all are defined in my global configuration section so let's move to my global configuration section that is for going let's go to manage Jenkins and global tool configuration so here we can see I have already defined my Java 8 that is the Java 8 and I have given the path and all if you have not done this just try ins uh, installing the global tools first or uh, uh, you can go through my previous tutorials for installing the, the, these things so this is the same java 8 uh, keyword which i have used here see you can see then we will see in the maven system maven 3.1.1 i have mentioned here maven 3.1.1 if if i want i can use some other maven 2.1.0 also so let, uh, if if i want then i have to uh, just change it here maven 2.1.1 okay so global tools uh, configuration also I have defined here so th these all things also you can change inside the stage whichever stage or whichever version you want to use for particular stages you can do that now stages is the um, keyword which will include all the stages so this is a, after this definition we again need to define the stage so in the in, in the stage name you can mention anything whatever you like for, uh, for our case I have just mentioned initialize because here we will be just printing the paths um, we have in our agents so I have 
so as i am running the windows uh, label which is actually my local computer only you know, so uh, i am just printing the path variable set and the maven to home here yeah. now bat is like it, it's because i am using windows so i'll be uh, using uh, this syntax and don't worry about the syntax uh, worry about the syntax we can come to know uh, later I, I i'll let you know how to check that from jenkins also we can generate the syntax for the pipeline so similarly i have defined this is the first stage initialize then i have defined the build stage uh, once more and in the steps i have mentioned like what it needs to do in the particular uh, stage so here again i am invoking the bat script and um, uh, i am running the two commands at a time uh, that is going to the particular directory cd uh, to the directory and then running i mean mvn install it's because my pom.xml if you know you will need to know the maven first if you want to understand the concept here why I'm only running this command even if you don't know for pipeline it's not required just follow just copy paste this command if you are running if you are running my uh, code so let me tell you why we are going cd and running mvn uh, install because this is the directory we need to go inside and uh, number generator and here our pom.xml is located so we need to locate our pom.xml uh, before running the mvn install or mvn uh, test mvn uh, package those commands because my pom.xml is located here so i have cd to this location and then i have run this then uh, then i am using one more keyword that is one more step that is post now post uh, is just like the post steps in uh, jenkins what uh, we have uh, configured earlier like based on the success of this uh, batch uh, this uh, step uh, we will do some other steps so uh, so for the post step we are what we are doing if it is success then it will run the j units so uh, in maven j units are always stored in the target directory and i know my uh, target directory and surefire report as i am using the jnunit plugin of uh, maven so it will be located here i know that so i have specified that so explanation of uh, jenkins find is also done you can also uh, uh, go through these uh, ppt uh, i'll or by downloading it from uh, my blogs and understand it step by step what it is doing so let's uh, as we have already configured the job let's just run it once so this is our job pipeline uh, pipeline is the it is because we are running the pipeline so it's showing by default this pipeline and the name we have mentioned here so it is showing there, uh, separately so let's now uh, run it by clicking on build now you can see our logs as separately here but now we will uh, within few minutes we'll be able to see the whole pipeline stages so uh, one more thing see, see we can see this declarative checkout but you will be thinking now that we didn't mention any stage for checkout by default if we choose the uh, actually uh, it has come because we have chosen this uh, pipeline job uh, while uh, creating the new job and we selected this uh, option pipeline script from scm so what this will do is like a by default it creates a, a stage that is a checkout similarly this uh, tool install is there so these two steps are just added by this pipeline job by default uh, and then we can see our initialize job because we have uh, mentioned this it, it, it is here because we have mentioned uh, it uh, in the initialize part of the stage and then it should be built uh, so those stages, stages. So as we can see like whole the whole job is divided into few phases first it declarative checkout then declarative tool install then initialize then build so we can track it easily like where the build is how much time it has taken for each step so it will be crystal clear and for us to track also we can individually check the logs here like you can just click on it and we can see the success log it is check checking out here so this log we can find here Here we didn't download anything as we use our global tools only 
from the global tools configuration so we cannot see any log because it has done, not done nothing from there initialize we can see because we have mentioned that path and all path and maven path and to home so everything will be crystal clear from here and here we can see the logs here that is cd to the directory and then mvn install if you can see see so it's still running and it has compiled now it is running the test uh, test cases in the MVN. so we can see our job is finished and it has divided it into four phases declarative checkout phase declarative tool install initialize and build uh, our uh, pipeline tutorial is completed for today it's uh, simple as you can see and just if you follow the steps mentioned in the ppt or just going uh, by going through this tutorial you can also uh, learn it easily within uh. thank you everyone